everyone. Thank you for joining our session. During this session, we will discuss Japan's potential as the new financial hub uh, in Asia uh, and discuss about Tokyo, Fukuoka, and Osaka. Mainly, we'll be discussing uh, things about Tokyo and Fukuoka, given our panelists here today. So let's start by introducing who we have as panelists here, starting with Keiichi. Hi, I'm Keiichi Aritomo. I'm the uh, executive director of the board uh, for uh, Finstee.Tokyo. I'm going to spend some time later uh, as to what Finstee Tokyo is. Uh, my background is management consulting. I spent 23 years. And um, I was uh, fortunate to be able to work in eight countries, um, primarily for uh, financial institutions encompassing uh, banking, um, security brokerage, and asset management and insurance. Um, I came back to Tokyo slash Japan uh, four or five years ago and, um, uh, and decided to you know, contribute um, back to Japan uh, through the uh, financial, financial uh, ecosystem transformation. Thank you very much. I'm honored to, have to be here. <laughs> Hi. Hi, everyone. I am Yuri Suzuki, a partner of Atsumi and Sakai, which is the Tokyo-based law firm. I'm uh, head of the fin our firm's fintech team and have assisted the Fintech Association Japan for several years. And I also, um, because I'm um, a financial lawyer uh, focusing on the banking, finance, and capital markets uh, for many years, I'm very much uh, interested in the <coughs> international, uh, international financial hub vision. So I'm now uh, deeply involved in that activity as uh, a Fukuda body of Finstee Tokyo as a statutory auditor. And I'm also a member of our uh, expert meeting of international financial hub vision uh, organized by the Tokyo Metropolitan Government. I'm also a mentor of the supporting program of the Tokyo Financial Award. And so far, I met uh, many fintech companies, uh, both the international clients and domestic clients. I'm greatly honored to uh, join this panel, and I would like to uh, discuss the how uh, we achieved our uh, uh, interna international financial hub in Japan. Thank you. Hey, this is Mumu from the Fukuoka Global Finance Center. By the way, yuri san you had a very nice car. I like it. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. And uh, sorry, to today I'm in the Fukuoka. And uh, so I have some studio, very close to the beach and very close to the Fukuoka Tower. Uh, but uh, Fukuoka City prepared this awful green screen, mm -hmm. although I'm wearing the, this green sweater. <laughs> I think uh, later we can discuss about the problem and opportunity of the Fukuoka and the Tokyo. This is the first problem. And uh, so uh, I originally, uh, I, I'm originally uh, not come from the Fukuoka. And uh, I based in the Kanto area near Tokyo. My university was in Tokyo. And also, that I started to work in the bank in the Tokyo. Uh, afterwards, I worked for the, the bank and the, the, also the electricity com e e electric company in many country. And now, so about five years ago, I come back from the Africa. Actually, before the Africa, I was in the, in China. So the uh, Fukuoka is a quite a friendly city uh, for the uh, the people. Uh, outside of Fukuoka. Mm -hmm. And uh, I'm living in the Fukuoka for five years now, so the, I'm the, I have some work with the Fukuoka city government. Mm -hmm. uh, in addition to the Global Finance Center, so I'm also in charge with the Global Startup Center, which I'm running for the four years. Mm -hmm. And uh, so today so I'm very honored to be here and uh, because uh, so we are talking about sort of competition as a candidate of the internet finance city and uh, so if it's a hundred meter sprint race Fukuoka is at the starting line and Tokyo is very close to the goal but still we are on the same race I'm very happy to hear and today I want to discuss the what we can do what we have 
I think uh, we can do the sort of the good comparison between the Tokyo and Fukuoka. Thank you. Great. Thank you, Momo-san, for the introduction. And let's get right on. I think we'd like to first discuss about what kind of ecosystem uh, Japan has overall uh, as a financial hub in Asia. And maybe, Keiichi, you could start discussing about FinCity. Mm. So I'm going to use some uh, slide. Uh -huh. um, I don't mean to you know, spend too much time on those uh, presentation materials, but uh, briefly, uh, I'd like to uh, touch upon why we studied um, uh, Fin City Tokyo or Financial Hub uh, Transformational Initiative um, uh, several years ago, uh, actually for to back in 2016. So um, it, it's a bit text heavy, but basically uh, I'm making um, a very simple point. Um, we have uh, way too much money oh. in, in Japan, <laughs> right? So right. that's a problematic. You know, uh, how can we utilize right. our wealth, mm -hmm. right? Okay. And um, um, we have low interest rate. Mm -hmm. um, if not negative, it is, um, right. um, you know, uh, very, very um, uh, insignificant. So saving doesn't help. Mm -hmm. um, we have um, 1,800, uh, uh, one you know, a trillion dollars, uh, uh, sorry, yen, uh, 18 trillion dollars or 19 trillion dollars of uh, saving. Uh, more than 50% of saving is uh, kept in savings account. Um, however, our pension system was designed after World War II where, uh, when Japan was growing exponentially and uh, people were expected to work through uh, 65 and uh, men were expected to live up to 75 years old. Mm -hmm. So pension system was designed to uh, support 10 years or so, mm -hmm. right? But um, uh, we are no longer uh, you know, in the uh, uh, lifetime uh, employment system. Right. Uh, uh, so we, we have a demographic issue as well. We have to upgrade uh, investment capabilities. Back in 2016, uh, when Governor Koike was elected to be the governor of Tokyo, uh, she formulated an um, uh, advisory panel uh, with uh, key um, you know, uh, symbolic uh, uh, representatives from different uh, industries like uh, Japan Bankers Association, J JSTA, Japan uh, uh, Investment Advisory Association, mm -hmm. and that, uh, assigned uh, uh, Andy Saito, uh, uh, who, who used to be the uh, CEO of uh, JPX, Japan Exchange Group, uh, to be the chair of this committee. Uh, advisor panel, and I was assigned as uh, his deputy as well. So we uh, spent a year to shape the strategy to transform Tokyo as a global financial hub. Uh, to, um, and one of the uh, uh, takeaways, uh, out of a number of different takeaways, is to have a dedicated organization to continuously promote and upgrade uh, Tokyo slash Japan as a financial ecosystem. So that's the uh, uh, genesis of FinCity.Tokyo. Mm -hmm. um, our domain name is FinCity.Tokyo, uh, and uh, uh, I'm one of the founders, but our uh, founding also chairman he used to be the uh, uh, deputy governor of Bank of, to uh, Bank of Japan, uh, Mr. Nakaso, as well. So, um, so that's the background of FinCity.Tokyo. Um, I skipped this page, but the uh, next page might be much simpler. We do only three things. We articulate what's going on in Japan, both in Japanese and English, mm -hmm. uh, which is not easy because Japanese laws and regulations are quite complex to explain. Mm -hmm. For example, uh, inheritance tax or permanent residency for, from a tax law perspective and uh, civil law perspective are different. Right. I have been struggling to explain this kind of thing. Um, and uh, uh, there are lots of the uh, 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 sort, sort of the uh, uh, urban myth uh, or perceptions um, or business customs, which is hard to be distinguished from uh, laws and regulations as well. So we are not doing uh, propaganda. We just explain what's going on, what it is, right? So that's the starting point. And then we obtain feedback and aggregate and uh, put together the voices from uh, different uh, market participants mm -hmm. or investors and uh, circle back to uh, communicate to uh, lawmakers, policymakers, and uh, regulators. Uh, and then 
uh, shape the uh, policy recommendations, right? And then go back to um, market participants, both domestically and internationally. So that's the kind of loop um, we are going through. So, um, you know, uh, uh, pretty much very simple. Communicate, obtain feedback, and recommend policy, uh, any uh, adjustments. Uh, so that's for Finsty.Tokyo. Uh, we have 43 institutions supporting our initiatives, uh, but uh, in reality, 60 to 70 percent of the funding is coming from Tokyo Metropolitan Government. Mm. However, they only have one voting right, so that's the key, right? Um, so financially, we have been supported largely from uh, Tokyo Metropolitan Government, but uh, uh, they are committed to listen to what the industries are saying. Mm -hmm. As well, Atsumi and Sakai, uh, represented by uh, Yuri, uh, is uh, also one of the uh, uh, members for Finsty Tokyo as well. Um, and we we uh, we have made uh, uh, quite a few uh, policy recommendations to the uh, central government and uh, uh, also the uh, majority party by the name of uh, LDP, uh, and we coordinate constantly with Tokyo Metropolitan Government. So we we are kind of uh, uh, you know trying to align among the uh, those key stakeholders, you know, central government, LDP. And uh, or, or other you know related uh, political parties and Tokyo Metropolitan Government, but going forward, I'm uh, committed to also coordinate with other financial centers such as Fukuoka and Osaka Kobe. Um, I'm actually from uh, Kobe. Uh, I grew up in Kobe, and I I worked in Fukuoka. Uh, although I spent so much uh, time outside of Japan, but uh, uh, whenever I had opportunity to work in Fukuoka, I uh, jumped on the, uh, onto uh, Fukuoka-based uh, uh, engagement as well. So I'm happy to have this uh, opportunity to s discuss with uh, uh, Mumu-san and uh, together with uh, Yuri. Right. Okay. So that's uh, background of Finsty Tokyo. Great. Okay. Great. Thank you. Yuri. Yuri, we move on to you. And my turn. Mm -hmm. uh, let me explain for the recent updates mm -hmm. how the uh, Japan uh, is opening uh, the welcome the uh, overseas uh, financial companies. Mm -hmm. uh, okay, let's see. Uh, Atsumi and Sakai uh, assisting the many international clients to uh, with their starting business in Japan. Mm -hmm. We assisted with clients. Uh, we assisted clients with uh, um, incorporation and obtaining visa status and obtaining their uh, financial licenses. And uh, we so so we assist. We provide uh, uh, one-stop services. To, uh, uh, to attract uh, uh, overseas clients. And uh, I would like to highlight today uh, the gov Japanese government's um, uh, various measures to relax the, uh, the laws and regulations to attract the overseas companies. So uh, this slide explains that the recent changes to expedited incorporation uh, so now the uh, all the directors, if we, if you or <coughs> if you incorporate a, a company in Japan, you don't need uh, a, a Japanese address. And uh, secondly, uh, uh, it now the, it's much be, be easier to uh, get the payment certificate, and also uh, it's relaxing about the signature certificate. And now the uh, Ministry of uh, Justice uh, is uh, keen to uh, proceed with a fast track registration. Mm -hmm. And they also are uh, very much uh, keen to uh, realize uh, the complete online one-stock system for incorporation process. And also uh, they are trying to do the abolition of organization file notification of serial impression in case of incorporation. And in terms of the uh, financial services agency, uh, they have uh, many uh, measures uh, for the uh, 
for example, the, uh, the first three, they uh, published a guidebook for registration of investment management business. Uh, this is the English guidebook. Mm -hmm. And also, um, uh, they, the earlier this year, um, uh, they uh, made amendments to the rules in that for the foreign investment manager who has difficulty in continu continuing its business in the foreign country can continue the business temporarily in Japan. So they uh, uh, for temporarily come to Japan and for about three months they don't, you, don't, you don't need a financial license. And also the recently um, they established a single point of contact for foreign asset management firms. They have a, a supporting desk for the uh, foreign companies to start in uh, financial business in Japan. And now that they are under the process of the public consultation on the registration process in English. So you will be, uh, uh, you will be apply for the uh, registration. Uh, currently, this uh, measures is only for the asset management firms, but you can apply for the registration in English language. And uh, in terms of the fintech businesses, I uh, would like to mention the, uh, this year's uh, two major amendments to the law. So one thing is the, about the fund transfer businesses. So they are uh, creating the three types of the uh, fund transfer businesses, and um, it's it's more flexible structure. And uh, and also, uh, this is a big news for the fintech companies. Uh, there will be a new category of the li financial license as a financial brokers. So previously, you have to obtain the uh, uh, registration uh, for the each sector, so banking uh, sector and securities and insurance. But uh, next year, you can just obtain one license and then you can uh, do the brokerage businesses, uh, banking, relating to banking, securities, insurance. So this is a one-stop license. Mm -hmm. So and so the now the uh, many fintech companies, especially for the, uh, for example, the utilizing the bank API or uh, aggregator services for the many uh, various fin financial services is very much know, interested in this uh, new uh, brokerage business now. Okay, great. And this is my end of presentation. Thank you. Sounds like we're doing a lot of preparation to tackle some challenges. And let's now go to Mumu in Fukuoka. Mumu, please tell us about Fukuoka and what interesting things are going on there. Yes. Uh, I'll talk about the history uh, of our activity. Uh, to, uh, as a candidate of the Internet Finance Hub, it's only four months. Mm -hmm. uh, as Kate mentioned, they understand that Tokyo has a four years history, but it took only four months. Mm -hmm. And the uh, 28th of the September, uh, Fukuoka announced uh, one project, it's called Team Fukuoka. Mm -hmm. This is the main body to promote this activity. And uh, it consists of the two local banks, two railway company, three energy related company, one property company and the Fukuoka Stock Exchange. Remember, the Fukuoka has a stock exchange here. <laughs> yeah. And uh, on the 20th of October, and uh, Fukuoka announced uh, another team, which is a global finance center. Uh, the, I'm responsible of this organization. Mm -hmm. This is a sort of contact window for uh, any sort of inquiry uh, from the all over the world. Our team consists of the four members, including me, and uh, all the members speak English, and also the, uh, the we can also receive the consult uh, we can also give the consultation in the Spanish and the Chinese as well. It's me, actually, I speak four languages. 
Yeah. So, and uh, th this is uh, uh, based on the experiences uh, as a startup of Fukuoka. Uh, Fukuoka City uh, promoted this sort of a startup uh, for, uh, I think, this six years. So, the Fukuoka became one of the startup city. And uh, uh, now that this team of Fukuoka main body uh, for the Internet Hub is promoting the uh, to invite the global finance function, not global finance institution. This is a really tricky word, but a good word. Because uh, so we are inviting the global finance function cover uh, many industry, company, and entity. And uh, I will mention the later, but I think the one of the key word is the startup. All right, and uh, so the so we have only four, uh, four months history, so the, we, we do not uh, complete much preparation. Then I'm think about it, what we have now. And uh, I think that uh, existing, the four tips uh, will be uh, useful uh, for this discussion and also the uh, potentiality uh, as an international hub. Uh, first, it's a safety. Uh, what is the safety? Among the uh, big city in Japan, and uh, Fukuoka is the only city uh, situated opposite to the Pacific Oceans. Oh, and uh, nowadays, and uh, so we are left to worry about earthquake, international disaster. I think it is good to have uh, one location and uh, geographically uh, safer compared to the other city. Uh, according to sort of statics. And uh, when we talk about international uh, finance hub and uh, people talking about data security, that's why I want to stress the safety for the data security. This is the first point. Second point is uh, quality of life. Uh, now the people is accustomed to they run the remote works. And uh, what is the problem with remote work? From my point of view, the problem is that there is no problem. Yeah. <laughs> so when we started, yeah, so that we don't know how to work it, but actually uh, we are working remotely. Uh, we don't feel the much prob uh, many problem. And uh, during the COVID-19, and uh, so we cannot go anywhere. That's why the only thing we can do is a video call. As a result, I'm getting very busy now. <laughs> And uh, I'm having uh, at average five video call every day, right. and mm -hmm. uh, I have to talk to the uh, the first uh, the Finland startup talking about sort of biotech, next Indonesian sort of the collaboration, and uh, I have to change the topic to each thirty minutes. It it really take a lot, but I uh, I think that this is the result of the remote work. Mm -hmm. Then. The, what what is the point? You can live anywhere, so you can uh, so you can pursue the quality of life. Fukuoka is a very convenient city, and uh, I'm living in an apartment uh, about 2.5 kilometers from the center of the Fukuoka. It's called the Tenjin area, and uh, from the Tenjin, I had a meeting with the Fukuoka City Hall. Ten minutes walk. If I go to the let's say the uh, the fishing. Uh, maybe the 10 minutes by bicycle, mm -hmm. if you go to the beach, uh, 20 minutes uh, by bicycle as well. So if you go to the Korea, so the 10 minutes by bicycle to the Hakata port, take a boat. <laughs> and uh, finally, so, okay, so we, are, so we are enjoying the remote work, but sometimes we have to go to the very important meeting to the Tokyo. Mm -hmm. From the Tenjin area, center of the, uh, the Fukuoka, by metro, only 15 minutes to the Fukuoka airport. I think that this is a mo the most co one of the most convenient airport in the world. Yeah. Yeah. I, I also have experience that this is my real experiences. So that when the airplane landed to the Fukuoka airport, still the airplane on the runaway, a runway. Then 35 minutes later, I'm at home. So the Fukuoka is not so far from the center of the Japan, mm -hmm. very close. Mm -hmm. 
but but at the same time you can enjoy the quality of your life. Third point is a uh, startup, and uh, so so what wh what kind of function what 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 could be characteristic we should have uh, for for the I would say the Japan to to create the international finance hub. I think the startup company, and uh, in particular the fintech company, uh, are the, one of the key. And uh, as I mentioned earlier, and uh, Fukuoka City is promoting the start, uh, this startup Fukuoka project. And uh, there's a lot of advantage, also delegations. And uh, one of the things is the startup visa. This is for the foreign entrepreneur to come to the Fukuoka with a very simple procedure and they can see in, in, in the Fukuoka for the six months and in, in one year. And uh, I think about 20 cities in Japan, including Tokyo, has the same system. But only two cities is uh, very active. One is uh, Fukuoka and another is uh, Tokyo. The number of issuance of startup visa uh, in Fukuoka is nearly equal to the Tokyo. It means uh, for the entrepreneur, uh, because of the reasons, Fukuoka is uh, uh, attractive enough as a Tokyo. And uh, fourth, it's a sort of a POC of the soft landing. Mm. And uh, Fukuoka, uh, the cost of living in Fukuoka is much cheaper than Tokyo. And as I mentioned, Fukuoka is very convenient and for the good food. Uh, Fukuoka is the main city in the Kyushu Island. Japan has a four main islands. Kyushu is a southern island. And the Kyushu is a famous at the 10% of the economy. 10% of the GDP and the 10% of the populations. So it is big enough. So they settle down in Fukuoka and uh, enjoy the quality of life and do the sort of a pilot. So they maybe if they grow, uh, they grow up, they move to the Tokyo, but somebody will come later. Yeah. I think that these four tip tips are uh, at least existing a uh, sort of an advantage or characteristic of the Fukuoka city is in the so in the we don't have a ecosystem as a global financial center however uh, the we have the experience of the as a startup centers mm -hmm. and the uh, somebody come to the Fukuoka and uh, we have to reset. A, they have to reset a company and open a bank account, find an office, whatever. Yeah, we also have a sort of ecosystem. Yeah, great. that's it from my side. Thank you. Okay, great. Thank you, Mumu, for that introduction about Fukuoka. We now know that Fukuoka could be a cost-efficient and convenient place uh, for the finance industry. Um, I think we'd like to discuss a little bit about the importance of fintech. Um, for Japan, given given it's a fintech festival, maybe yeah. Keiichi, you could start by telling us a little about fintech uh, in Japan. Yeah, sure. Well, uh, first of all, um, I'm very impressed and inspired by uh, mm -hmm. what Mumu mentioned about mm -hmm. Fukuoka City. Mm -hmm. um, I totally agree that uh, what we need is finance function mm -hmm. as opposed to finance institutions, mm -hmm. right? Because you know, finance is not for the sake of finance, or finance is not for finance institutions. Mm -hmm. Finance is more like a pumping the blood through, uh, you know, um, you know, circulation, uh, mm -hmm. circulate the blood through the entire body, right? Mm -hmm. So, what do we want to achieve, um, and uh, what kind of social issues we are trying to solve? Mm -hmm. uh, this is the most important issue. When we started um, uh, uh, financial ecosystem transformational mm -hmm. initiative. Um, you know, uh, we made sure that this is not for financial institutions. Mm -hmm. This is to solve the problems, right? Mm -hmm. So uh, we decided to, uh, it's not limited Tokyo, but uh, for nationwide, we decided to focus on asset management mm -hmm. and fintech to solve the problems, mm -hmm. right? So I touched upon the uh, asset management issue. You know, uh, you know, our demography is aging and population shrinking, right? right? Interest rate is so low. Uh, and uh, you know, economy has been quite uh, stagnant over the last few decades as well. Mm -hmm. So how do we afford our demography? Right. In order to do so, we have to upgrade our investment management mm -hmm. capabilities, mm -hmm. right? 
But over the last few decades, uh, fund managers have left mm -hmm. Japan slash yes. Tokyo. And uh, uh, even Japanese equities, I had a uh, you know, very interesting discussion with the uh, largest uh, pension fund CIO. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, you, know, uh, you, you can name it. But mm -hmm. uh, um, you know, even Japanese equities uh, performance of the uh, uh, fund management um, uh, for Japan equity-based um, funds mm -hmm. are, you know, largely driven by fund managers overseas, right. not not based mm -hmm. in Japan as well. So we have to, you know, uh, quickly re-establish or, or uh, uh, rebuild our investment management capabilities to cope with our demographic uh, issues. Mm -hmm. But another issue is that a uh, uh, little bit counterintuitive. Um, Despite that uh, Japan is technologically advanced, mm -hmm. our financial backbone is quite antiquated. Right. You know, maybe Mumu can uh, elaborate <laughs> more, but right. it's uh, surprising that mm -hmm. uh, uh, we have been using very old systems mm -hmm. for uh, uh, core banking and security brokerage mm -hmm. uh, uh, transaction system. The reason why is very, we are very scared financial uh, backbone is a social infrastructure. Mm -hmm. We are not allowed to, uh, we are kind of prohibited to fail, right? right? Okay. So that uh, it's very difficult to try something new mm -hmm. or potentially more convenient mm -hmm. or mu much more efficient as well. Mm -hmm. So we end up having very antiquated system and any engineers uh, who are equipped to uh, you know, maintain the system uh, for you know, COBOL-based or assembler-based systems are also mm -hmm. aging mm -hmm. as well. So we have to deal with, uh, aging engineers as well. Right. So that's why uh, having a POC center, proof of concept center like mm -hmm. Fukuoka would be very important because you know, if we try something in Tokyo, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Tokyo is a quarter of Japan GDP. The right. shock is too big. I see, right, right, right. You know, we need to mitigate the shock. Right, right, right. <laughs> uh, and uh, I I and we, we should be able to have um, um, you know, less you know, uh, well, I mean, a little bit uh, distant from the central government mm. so that we don't have to be scrutinized right. <laughs> for, uh, you know, whatever uh, happening, right? Mm -hmm. So I, I think having uh, multiple financial centers, not too many, but mm -hmm. uh, few different options would be very helpful, right. right? So your question was why fintech? You know, right. fintech right. is, you know, to upgrade our mm -hmm. antiquated mm -hmm. um, uh, financial uh, backbone. Mm -hmm. right. And um, uh, you will be able to touch yes. on this as well. Yes, yes uh, I totally agree to uh, Katie. Mm -hmm. uh, what he said is the purpose of the uh, Tokyo Financial Award. And th there is an innovation section of the Tokyo Financial Award. And uh, uh, currently, there are uh, many, uh, both uh, the international <coughs> companies and uh, domestic companies are participating in the program. Uh, the fintech is very key uh, for the uh, people's uh, usual life to to smoothly uh, receive the financial services. And the financial institutions, Japan is very unique in that the uh, uh, not uh, comparing to the other uh, countries, uh, Japan is more open innovation. Uh, and uh, that means that the uh, large financial institutions and uh, fintech startups collaborate with each other. There are many uh, cases uh, to collaborate with mm -hmm. each other. Uh, for example, the, uh, in terms of the open bank API, uh, that's the government, uh, Japanese government KPI. And now the, uh, I think that um, most of the 95% uh, of the Japanese banks have already prepared for open bank API or well prepared the bank API. They, uh, most of them are uh, represent that they, they will open up the API. Mm -hmm. And there are many services uh, utilizing the uh, bank API. And not only the banking section, uh, API is utilized in the insurance industry or and securities industry. Mm -hmm. So that's why the, uh, as I previously mentioned about the uh, uh, new uh, brokerage business is uh, 
is a key point of the uh, Japan's fintech services. And I'd like to also the, uh, emphasize uh, um, uh, two other things. Mm -hmm. One is the uh, testing environment. Mm -hmm. So the Japanese government has a uh, regulatory sandbox system and also the, uh, the financial services agency has a, a POC hub. And also uh, we have a, a national strategic special zone uh, that includes the Fukuoka and Tokyo and other major cities. And so you can have uh, uh, many opportunities to test your services in Japan. And another thing is, lastly, I would like to highlight. Japan is a, a bit, um, uh, maybe some of the audience have the impression that Japan is a, a bit behind the digitalization. But now the Japan's government is very keen to proceed with the uh, digital transformation. Mm -hmm. And uh, for example, the, uh, this year, uh, the government uh, published the QAs about the digital contract. So you can utilize the um, cloud-based uh, digital uh, signature services that may enable the contract uh, is uh, effective. So, uh, and so, uh, the government is uh, uh, trying to abolish the uh, stamp culture. Okay. Great. Thank you. I think we might have just enough time for Mumu to elaborate a little bit about Fukuoka and how, like Keiichi said, Fukuoka could actually be a good place uh, to try new, new systems, uh, a new testing bed. Mumu, if you'd like to uh, elaborate maybe a bit. Yeah. And, uh Thank you, and uh, I agree with you. And uh, so, any sort of the tri trial is very bound to the Fukuoka city. And uh, Fukuoka is 1,000 kilometer from the Tokyo. Mm -hmm. So, if somebody do the sort of the failure, nobody will be arrived at for a couple months. Each. So then, <laughs> yeah. So then, just try it. Mm -hmm. And uh, I think that this is the culture of Fukuoka city, uh, the Fukuoka. Mm -hmm. And uh, I give you just one example. Mm -hmm. And uh, in Fukuoka, uh, one of the biggest local uh, local finance institutions, is Fukuoka Finance Group (FFG), mm -hmm. and uh, it has uh, many banks. Mm -hmm. And but now, so they, they are preparing to uh, establish a new bank, sort of a fintech bank. Mm -hmm. And uh, mm -hmm. as far as I understand, that uh, now uh, the, the bank is in process of uh, uh, getting the approval from mm -hmm. the, the government. And it should start a business from the next year. And uh, as Cage mentioned, the reason is very simple. So it is much easier to uh, create a new bank rather than to expand the business from the existing infrastructure of the bank. Uh, this is what the FFC also clearly mentioned. And uh, I had a friend, and he's working for the, the maintenance of the banking system. And uh, the case, right, he's, he's, used, he's a specialist of COBOL language. COBOL is a great programming language, and it is, uh, you know, they uh, keep revising. Mm -hmm. But still, it is not so uh, efficient to create a new system, mm -hmm. particularly the Open API. So the, I hope that this uh, Fukuoka uh, FinTech Bank Mm -hmm. uh, will uh, sort of uh, uh, they offer the many opportunities for the company by using their open API. So the, we have this bank then, so the many fintech company can do the trial uh, with with uh, this new bank in the football. Mm -hmm. So they again the so the so we realize that Fukuoka is a good place for the POC. Mm -hmm. and, uh, if they grow up, yeah, maybe they will graduate from the Fukuoka, but uh, we are happy to see of them as well. Nice, great, thank you. I think we might have a little bit of time left, maybe do some closing remark uh, comments from each one of you. Um, maybe we can again start with Keiichi. Sure. Mm -hmm. So, um, so this is the uh, um, uh, first time I w we talk about the um, uh, um, you know regional financial hub as well as Tokyo Financial Hub, uh, and especially in English. Mm -hmm. um, and you know, despite that, um, 
I worked in Fukuoka. I spent some time, but uh, <laughs> I didn't know much about what's going on, what was going on in Fukuoka <laughs> as well. I did uh, uh, have done, we, we, we have done some kind of uh, research mm -hmm. on uh, different cities um, or different countries, jurisdictions with multiple financial centers. Mm -hmm. uh, there are some, uh, you know, uh, pros and cons and uh, uh, things we have to be careful, uh, especially from a branding point of view, right? So we don't want Fukuoka to, Fukuoka to be perceived as the uh, mini Tokyo mm -hmm. uh, or only backup center for the Tokyo as well. Uh, Fukuoka is quite unique, right? I didn't know until I worked there. Um, and, uh, you know, MJ, you, you don't know enough. You right. should visit sometime. Right. It is um, uh, very fascinating. <laughs> and, uh, uh, you know, I, I went there with, with my uh, team members. Mm -hmm. And actually, you know, uh, half, half of the team decided to live there <laughs> uh, <Wow. laughs> for, for good and uh, end up marrying there as well. So um, this is very attractive mm -hmm. place, but um, uh, this is also quite unique. Mm -hmm. So we need to kind of shape the strategy as to how to position each different city right. within Japan, mm -hmm. and also like, uh, you know, communicate abroad mm -hmm. internationally. And we should do promotion together instead right. of like a one by one right. uh, in a scattered manner. Uh, otherwise, uh, you know, we may be considered being just uh, competing or, right. um, you know, subscaled or disjointed as well. So that's uh, something we have to start doing right. uh, as well. Um, so th that's my, my kind of uh, 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 conclusion summary of uh, right. you know, my, th my Thank thought. Thank you. Maybe okay. it's from Yuri. Okay. Uh, in terms of international financial hub, I know that uh, some of the uh, financial businessmen uh, thought that the uh, uh, Tokyo is not so international. <laughs> some some people <laughs> say it, but uh, I think that it, it, uh, it's a very old-fashioned idea. Mm. So now the Japan is uh, changed, has been changed, and uh, transforming into the truly uh, international cities. And it's true that uh, uh, the, uh, not only uh, Tokyo, also the uh, Fukuoka or Osaka Kobe uh, ha has a very much uh, uh, good place to do uh, for, the, for the overseas companies who come to Japan to start businesses. Mm -hmm. And the law, it's, I would like to emphasize that law itself, it's, it's um, it applies for the every region, mm -hmm. <laughs> then come nationwide. Mm -hmm. So it's not a, a matter of the city to city, but it's a nationwide mm -hmm. uh, project. And now the the government has uh, many uh, measures to to uh, for the uh, international companies to uh, to form enable to uh, be more easier to uh, start in businesses. So uh, please think about these opportunities, and uh, uh, Atsumi and Sakai is welcome to support, assist the, the international clients. Great. Thank you, Yuri. And we have a few seconds for Mumu's last uh, yeah. closing remarks. Uh, yeah, and uh, thank you for everybody, and uh, we received a lot of the compliments uh, from the KH in the UAE. And uh, what we need to have is uh, people, particularly the engineer, and also the money. And uh, when they start a company, come to the Fukuoka, and uh, still it is very difficult to find the sort of the finance method. Mm -hmm. That's what I think, as Kate mentioned, the Fukuoka can play some role, and also the Tokyo uh, can play some role. And uh, so, how the Japan become the, the international finance hub? I think that we need sort of the collaboration and the sort of the think about separation of the task. I think that then we can create the future. Uh, for the next century. Thank you. Great. Thank you, Mumu. Thank you, everyone, for joining today's session. It was uh, Keiichi, Yuri, and Mumu from Hukuoka, and I'm Min Jong Lee with Bloomberg News in Tokyo. Maybe if there is another chance, we could also discuss potentials for Osaka as well, since our discussion today was mainly focused on Tokyo and Fukuoka, right? Yes? Yes. Okay, great. And for if you'd like to know more, please uh, look up Fin City homepage for more information, and please reach out to any of our panelists here if you'd like to more uh, know more. Thank you. Bye. Bye.